Hey guys, I've got a video showing you the performance of the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro. I've gotten the base model with the Intel Core i5 running at 2.5 GHz, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 128 gig SSD. So first of all, let's run Geekbench. So we've gotten Geekbench open up, so let's run Benchmarks. So we're almost done loading here at the moment, and let's just finish for it to be loaded. So here you can see a Geekbench score of 6,811. Um, um, I was expecting it to be a bit higher, but um, here as you can see the more complicated stuff. But the main point is the score up top, and um, let's compare it to the other Mac benchmarks. So um, as you can see, um, we have to pass a lot of stuff that are a lot less than what this cost. Um, because, well, um, as you can see, you, you have the Mac Mini over here, and um, we're like right about here, around this range, in between the iMac 27-inch mid-2010, MacBook Pro 13-inch early 2011. Um, so, that's the Geekbench. So, after this, let's go ahead and do Cinnabon. So now that we've gotten Cinebench opened up, um, let's run the OpenGL score. So um, basically, um, there's two parts to Cinebench. There's um, an OpenGL and a CPU. What the OpenGL does, it just um, throws in a short video clip to test its um, graphics of it. And the CPU um, has a, throws in a very high-res picture t to it. Um, so, um, this has integrated graphics, um, it has Intel HD 4000, it's not the best graphics, but it's, um, pretty good for integrated graphics. So, as you can see, there's the short video clip it sends in. So, let's wait for that to finish up here. So as you can see here, we've gotten a score of 16.98 frames per second. Um, that's not the best score, but the 15-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro has um, dedicated graphics. And that gets around um, 30 to 40 frames per second. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, let's do the CPU test. So what this does, it just throws in a very high resolution picture. Um, as you can see, um, it take it sees how long it takes to render it, and it gives you a score based on that. So let's for let's wait for that to finish up. So you probably got the point of that picture. This got a score of 2.79. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. So um, yeah, maybe um, feel free to write your scores down below in the comment sections. So let's get to the next part, which will be the the disk speed. So here I'm running um, the Black Magic disk speed test to see its um, speed. So as you can see here, I'm getting a write speed of around 304, and the read speed is like 3413. So um, that's a disk speed, and I will end this video with an SSD stress test. I'm gonna be opening up all my applications here. Um, thank you for watching my um, benchmark, and please comment, rate, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video.